the biggest threat to the Lakers right now that people say is the Warriors because they're coming back healthy next year and they got the second overall pick. So right now, a lot of people want them to trade the pick. These are some potential names that they could trade for Bradley Beal, Kevin Love, Giannis, Ben Simmons, Drew Holiday. What do you guys think? Should they just should they just draft a player with this second pick, or they should should they trade for one of these proven players that's on this list or that is not on the list? If you could stay trade, away from Bradley Beal, if you could, yeah, first stay of all, Bradley, Bradley Beal, Beal, he would not fit at all with this team. They don't need a Bradley Beal, and it's the same thing I said when Bradley Beal was rumored with the Nets. There would not be enough basketballs in the gym. And we saw it with Kevin Durant, who, first of all, was a much better scorer. Second of all, was a more versatile scorer. Third of all, was a better defender. And even that ended up going up in flames. I don't think that Bradley Beal would fit with this team. I think that that would be a mistake. I think that Kevin Love is not nearly enough value for the second pick unless you're getting back a first-round pick from the Cavs or one of their young talents. I don't don't think so? No. I'd actually think that the Warriors will need to. His career. I think that the Warriors will need to give their first and an Andrew Wiggins to get. They have to. to be his honest. contract That's is big. Crazy. And that giving up crazy. your only reliable wing when you need a wing right now because the league is wing dominant. I don't think that. And makes Kevin sense. Kevin Love is not at all at that point in his career anymore, and he really hasn't been since the tail end of the LeBron days in Cleveland. Like I don't think he's nearly worth the second overall pick. Who, did you name any wings on that list? Any small forwards? Giannis. I think Giannis, if you Ben could, Simmons, if you want to count him like as a forward, Drew Holiday. Ben Simmons would be an interesting one. If you could trade for Giannis, do it in a heartbeat, and they would win the championship next the year. The thing with me is I don't think that Giannis, I think he's hell-bent on going to Miami. I think he's going to Miami. I think that I don't see him going to Golden State. I don't think he's going back to Milwaukee. I think his short list of teams is going to be Toronto, Miami, and Golden State. Toronto? I've heard him linked with Toronto. That Which would, I think would be, be a good fit for them. They could probably make a finals run if he goes to Toronto. Same thing Anthony Davis could do if he goes there too. And all three of those spots, nice talent around him, a great head coach. All three of those places would be essentially guaranteeing him a championship contention. Uh, I say you just draft. You want them to draft this guy over here, James Wiseman? Oh, I didn't say him. I said just draft. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you want them to draft? I say you take, you take Anthony Edwards. I say you just take... If he goes one, do you take Lamelo? No, then because uh, then I wouldn't. You, you're not the thing with Anthony Edwards is you you know what you you know what's coming in. You're gonna get a guy who wants to score. He's gonna play defense on every night. He's gonna want to score every night. He's a big NBA body, six five. He's strong. You're gonna get that. You get Lamelo. He's a little tricky player. Now you got to figure out how you're gonna play him and Steph. You know, two point guards who don't really play defense like that. And now you got a guy who needs the ball, so it's gonna be tricky. And then you get this guy. He played three games. He's a big man. He doesn't have a lot of post moves. He's kind of skinny in frame, and he's just going to clog the paint. That's not what you really want. And so. he's taking a year off of competitive basketball. Yeah, damn near in the year. So I'd say get Anthony Edwards. If you don't, if he's gone, then you obviously make a trade. But I don't see, like, Drew Holiday, I get that, but he's 6'4". He's not really a shooter. You need a big guy, like, and you're going to have to trade Wiggins or Draymond. You're not going to trade Steph. They have play. a trade exception. Oh, Seventeen and a half million dollars. The more we've discussed it, I think I'm actually falling in love with the idea of Ben Simmons on the Warriors. He That's would be defender. like he would be like a Draymond Green on steroids for them. You know, like my, he he would be better for them than Draymond Green was when I think he Draymond. was at his peak. You could honestly you could trade, trade Draymond, Draymond. yeah. And, and oh, just thinking about him and that Steve Kerr offense, they would be unstoppable on the fast break. He would add another layer of defense, one through five. And think about it, he's younger lacking. than Giannis too. Oh my God, that would actually be a perfect fit if they could pull that off, he's, and it would be beneficial a, for both sides. He's a better playmaker than Giannis too. Because yeah, go, going back to then the Sixer side of things, they would have the number two overall pick in a guard-heavy draft class where they can draft a guard, which is what a a scoring, shooting guard, which is what they've been lacking so badly. You know, my potential option for the Warriors to get and to trade this pick is I think Miles Turner. I think he would fit their team. It would take a a lot more than just Miles Turner. Like, the the Pacers would have to throw in more. I'm trying to think. Maybe all the depot. I don't know Ooh. how they would make that work, but his trade value is so low right now. I mean, I don't, honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't them. mind. I like Miles Turner. I wouldn't mind giving Wiggins and the pick for all the depot and Turner. 
and would, maybe like a second round pick. I, from I them. would want a little bit more value back from the Pacers, but you're right. I I think that Miles Turner is a good option for any team like the Warriors to key in on. He's a yeah. good shooter. He I defends agree. around the rim, and that's something that you don't really. I mean, and he wants out. Out outside of some of the top options in the league, like uh, Joel Embiid or Nikola Jokic, you're not going to find that in in a lot of the big men in the league, and. Like you mentioned, he wants out. He's behind Sabonis realistically. Sabonis plays the four and he plays the five, but he's realistically it's behind not, it's Sabonis. Not bad fit. Yeah. Um that would be an interesting deal. I think it would it it would need a lot of work with it that's a good framework for it, but it would need a lot of work on the outside. And maybe they could trade Miles Turner a pick and maybe a, add in a Doug McDermott to come off the bench for them or a TJ McConnell, a guy who could play defense, something like that. They gotta they gotta build wings around Steph and Clay. You gotta figure out what you're gonna do to compete with the LeBrons, the Kawhis, the ADs. Yeah, they don't need any more guard play. Like they have the guard play locked. The guards are gonna dominate. You gotta you need they have they have to try to compete with the Lakers because after the Clippers what they showed, you don't really need to worry about them too much. Yeah, and that's what I love about a Ben Simmons or Giannis coming to them because he adds an element that Guard Any one team five. that wants to compete with the Lakers' needs is a guy that can guard Anthony Davis. They have Draymond, who can at least slow down LeBron. I don't think there there's many guys in the league that can. I think there, you put there's Draymond almost no AD. team in the league that can guard LeBron and Anthony Davis. And getting a guy like a Ben Simmons or a Giannis would give you that in Draymond and whoever they get. It's easier to key in on wings like Kawhi and Paul George if they play him, especially because they don't have a big man option. Montrez Hero is probably going to leave him free agency. He's terrible. And Zubac not worried about him. Yeah. So you can key in on those guys in the playoffs, especially Clay being a great defender. It it probably be easier than to guard Anthony Davis who's six ten, and even if you put Draymond, you could put Draymond on AD. On AD, I don't think I think that's a bad matchup for them still. Ooh. I, the Warriors, I think AD you, drops 30 on him. Well, I, well, I, 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 I wouldn't. Draymond isn't the same as he once used to be when he was guarding AD. So I, can, I, I agree. Can Ben Simmons guard AD? No. I don't think you can necessarily There's say. There's not many in the league that can guard AD, could, but can, can he, he slow him down yes. enough to make it a competitive? Well, because when you look at I it, don't think so. all they would need is Draymond and Ben, hypothetically, in a world where they trade for Ben Simmons and they keep the rest of their core. Ben Simmons and Draymond. Could I'm gonna they, say this: Could they slow LeBron and AD down enough? Nobody's slowing LeBron down. I tell you what, though, they'll do a lot better job at doing what the Nuggets did, Houston did, and Portland did. You have Draymond, you have Ben Simmons. You're gonna do a lot better job than PJ Tucker and exactly. Jeremy Grant and all of them. You're gonna do a lot better job. And think about it: the Trailblazers and the Rockets had the guard play to beat the Lakers, but they didn't get the the production on. The defensive yeah, yeah, side right. of the ball guarding LeBron and AD. And now you got Draymond just focusing on defense. He doesn't have to focus on anything else. You have Ben Simmons who you can he, – he essentially he can guard one through five. So he can guard any position and he can stay in front of LeBron. It's going to be tough though because it's still LeBron. It's still AD. Yeah. But they got to guard Steph and Clay too. So it's going to – you know, it's going to be tough regardless. I think a trade makes the most sense for them right now, though, because you look at Steph and Clay; they're only getting older, and their championship window is closing. Coming off the injury, they need a, a bit of a safety blanket because you don't know how they're going to come back. And they have and, Minnesota's pick next year. Yeah, so I, if, if they wanted to kind of try and turn the page and start a next chapter, I think they draft and hope that they can develop one of those guards like Anthony Edwards maybe. But I think it makes more sense for them to maximize their championship window now with Steph and Clay, bring in a guy who can help them compete. And even if you get a guy like Ben Simmons, he could be your future too. Or a guy like Giannis. Like they don't only have to be your now, they could be your future when when Steph and Clay inevitably start to be on the downfall. And even then, you keep those guys around, they could play till they're forty years old the way they shoot the ball. Absolutely. 